when you want to move beyond just doing simple extrudes where you have a cross section that follows a straight path, you'll want to learn sweeps. We're going to talk about the different types of sketches that you need. We're going to talk about how you can solve it differently using the dialogues, how you could twist it to create like a braided or cable experience, or how to just select edges and do sweeps and how to introduce more control. Here we go. If you're going to be creating a sweep, you need to create two sketches. And here's the important thing. They need to be opposing. So if I'm going to do a profile on this plane, I'm probably going to need to use this plane for the second sketch. Let's talk about how this works. First, I'm going to create the profile. I'm going to be sure to connect it to the origin. I'm doing a circle. Now, here's an important thing. You're going to need to close this sketch. So I finish it. And if you don't do this here, let me do it wrong really quickly because I've done this too. I do the same plane. I do a second sketch because I'm trying to do it right. I do a line going to an arc. I've seen this a million times. And basically what you've done is created two different sketches on the same plane. So if you were trying to drag this in 3D, it doesn't know what to do. They need to be opposing perpendicular. They don't actually have to be perpendicular, but if you want to think of that when you're getting started, that will help you. So I delete that sketch and now come to create a new sketch. I'll do this plane that's 90 degrees to our circle, and I'm going to run it right from the origin. It is helpful that it starts or ends at the same location. So you can see that my profile, the circle, follows this path and they're aligned at the origin. That makes life a little bit easier. Go to sweep profile and go over to the path and select it in the dialog. It's going to follow that circle along this path, creating our sweep. Click OK. And now you have a sweep. Next, let's talk about the different ways we can solve. So I have this circle and I finish the sketch. I come in and create on this other plane. I'm going to do a line going and then I'm going to start creating some arcs. Move it over so we can see it. Okay, so we're just roughing this out. Looks okay. We'll click finish sketch and now we're going to sweep this. I'm going to do S for search, type in sweep, and choose the blue feature sweep. Click that profile, go over to path, select the path, and now it's going to solve this. Now, what we have is it's solving along a single path. At the very bottom, you can choose to do a new body. You can use this as a cutter for sweeps, and you can uh, choose to create this as a new component. But what we want to look at is right above this, and we'll see parallel, perpendicular. So when you look at the way this is solving, it's allowing your circle to turn as it's solving. Okay, so I've adjusted the sketch for the path, and you can see when we choose parallel, it's choosing to keep this flat or parallel, keep this circle solving parallel throughout, creating this necking experience here at the turn. Sometimes when you're creating a sweep, you're going to want to choose the profile and the path and have it solve, but maybe you don't want it to solve the entirety of your path. You are allowed with this drag handle or slider to adjust it back as well as you can do it numerically by specifying the distance. So when I specify 0.25, you can see that that's all that it's allowed to solve. And as I increase it, it's dragging more or solving more along the path. What if I had a sphere? I create it, put it at the origin here. And now what I want to do is have that travel along a path. I'm going to create, have it come up and then come out at an arc. This is a solid sweep. So what we'll do is choose to sweep this. We'll choose the options for type and come down to solid sweep. I'm going to choose this solid and this is the path. And so it's bringing that and creating a cool end effect because of the sphere. Okay, so what if I went back in time, added an extrude plate, and what I want to do is remove this material. I'm going to show you two techniques on how we could do that. If you've already created a solid, you can simply go to combine. And what this does is it lets you do the target body, which is the one I want to keep. And the one I want to cut with is this solid here. And I'm going to use it as a cutter. And I get to keep or combine them, create a new component. I'm going to click OK. It cuts that away. 
Now my body for my sphere is still there and I can hide that or I could delete it or remove it from the timeline. But we can use a sweep that's solid as a cutting tool if you use this combine. Now you might be asking like, did I have to do it this way? Did I have to? No, you absolutely don't. Okay, so let's go back. What if you created your sphere and you want to create a sweep like we're doing, but save yourself the headache? You're probably already ahead of me. You can choose the body, choose the path, and now we want to use just this as a cutter and click OK. And so you can use a solid sweep as a cut. I'll hide that sphere so we don't need it. And just so you're aware, if you want to delete this body, you can hit right click and you can delete it. But that may not be what you really want. What you might want instead is if you right click and choose the body, you can remove it. And what this does is it adds a feature in the timeline. I really like this one because it's editable. You can effectively just bring it back by um, moving in the timeline or right clicking on it and choosing to suppress it. Suppress is a way that you can temporarily turn off a feature in Fusion. Now, what if you wanted to create a mitered edge along uh, this edge, maybe? So I'll start a sketch and create a shape. Let's move this over a little bit. I now have this profile. I can go in and create the path or uh, project all those edges, but Fusion doesn't need that. You can simply choose to sweep it, choose the profile, Go up to single path, choose the profile, and then I'll choose the path, which is this edge. It auto recognizes everything and puts that mitered sweep for you. Click OK. What if you wanted to do an elliptical shape at the base? So this will be our profile sitting at the bottom. And we now want it to follow a path. So we'll start a sketch. You know, we could just extrude this going up, but I'm going to introduce a, a path just so there is one. And what I want to do is I want to create and control how this ellipse solves. You might be thinking of a loft where you have multiple ellipses that are just slightly different sizes. Well, there's a way you can do this with sweeps. It gives us a little bit more control. I'm going to introduce a spline. So I'll go to the spline, I'll start at the bottom. I'm going to have it go out a little bit and then start to work its way up and then maybe sort of out. Okay, so I have this on the side here and we could mirror it over or we can quickly solve this. So we'll do sweep. We're going to do this profile following this path. But we're going to introduce this solution here. And what this is called is a rail in Fusion. So we're going to choose Guide Rail. And what this does is allows you to select it. So let it, it lets you solve a more complex shape in the sweep. So doing this with a loft, I think, would have taken me a little longer just because I'd have to introduce quite a few sketches and quite a few profiles to solve between. I love that you can do this quickly with a sweep once you know about the guide rail. When you're solving for this profile, you have a couple options with the guide rail. Would you like for it to narrow down from the original profile because it's narrowing with this guide rail? You have the ability to choose scale. So if we look at it from the other angle, you can see that it's narrowing down from the profile in both directions. So it's narrowing here, but it's also narrowing on the backside or the thickness. If you don't want that and you want it to stay effectively thicker, you can use this stretch option and it will solve it and still uh, keep with the guide rail. What if you wanted to do a cable? We'll do a circle and then we'll also do its path. Okay, what we're gonna do is select this profile, select this path, and what we're gonna do is twist it. We'll introduce twist, and we can say 720 degrees. It's gonna go twice around this axis. We did 30, it's only gonna do a partial. Do 30, try again. You can see it's only rotating a little bit. So if we do 720 
and then we can come back to our original sketch and adjust that length and we get to set how far it's going to travel so if we search for circular pattern we're going to choose this body and we're going to do it about this axis and so if we do three more that will be kind of cool let's try about five click OK and now we've got a Twizzler developing. All right, so I want you to experiment with that today. If you haven't before, try that coil option. Try creating a profile on an edge, sweeping around a mitered corner. Just create those two sketches and try to get the sweep to work. Let me know in the comments how it's going. See you in the next video.